Hey everybody, Zippin' and Trials here saying I just killed a tan jelly on Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. In the last episode, I did some quests for wind here, and actually did quite a few, to say the least, and then started to go through what is by and far my least favorite area in the game, the Burnt Paradise. And in today's episode, I'm going to try and get through as much of it as possible, that way I don't have to deal with it ever again. But in any case, as you just saw, I just took down a new enemy right there, Buster Armor, which is like crossbow armor on steroids. You do not want to mess with these fellows, or else you will die. So yeah, make sure you don't get hit by those guys, because they're just they're just all sorts of fun to deal with, to say the least. Oh god, don't even get me started on them. They're just ugh, powerful, powerful and strong. God, Bob. Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait. There we go. Jeez, thank God for Griffin winning that. Artemis shoes, a new piece of equipment for Charlotte right there. Um, will that be better? Mm, um, uh, yes, yes, I'll go with it. Yeah. Also, since last time, I went off screen and I just got some stuff for, uh, just got some healing supplies because, let's face it, I needed some health badly in the last episode and I really should have came more prepared. But whatever, though, teach their own, I suppose. Anyways, moving along through here, we have another save point. I really shouldn't have used that super potion like an idiot. I probably should have realized that because I have a map right next to me. But oh well, I'll just use it now and then I'll continue while we're down here. And there we got a Gorgon. Again, watch out, because those things can poison you. Uh, thankfully, though, I did pick up some anti-venoms along the way, so... That's convenient, I suppose. Anyways, more of those annoying damn rippers. Um, actually, now that I think about it, having, uh... Having Rock Ride might not be a bad idea in taking down those guys. Eh. Yeah, whatever. I I'm just gonna stick with Thunderbolt, because really, Thunderbolt's just so, so good in this part of the game. Ow! God, man, these... These... Uh, the, uh, oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Ah, that was bad. Oh, no. God, muffins. God. Uh, okay, thank God I have these anti-venoms. Anyways, you got another new enemy here. You got new, another new enemy here, Skeleton Tree. Uh, now, the deal with these uh, crossbow armor, I mean, buster armors here, is that their bolts that they fire off are, uh, are, are like heat-seeking or character-seeking. I forget how it works exactly, but why are my thunderbolts hitting? What the, what the fuck? Game, come on. Okay, well, whatever. Um, you know, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna go, go through like that, cause I can just do it like that. Anyways, going up through here, we have a uh, MP max up, always convenient. Um, that's pretty nice, I suppose. Anyways, more of those annoying Medusa heads. Great. Oh, geez. Okay, so just gotta be careful not to get hit by any of them, and hopefully that will be fine and dandy. Okay, so just jump down, jump down, jump down here. Okay, good. Okay, good. I survived the ordeal. That that went by much better than I expected. And I didn't get poisoned by that thing either. That's very nice. Anyway, we have a double axe armor there, another new enemy, and I believe this guy is susceptible to lightning, but you want to watch out for that guy because he can't hit pretty darn hard, so make sure you watch out for that. Anyways, move a little right along down here. Um, we got a uh, another jack more of these jack of bones, more like jack of asshole. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, going up through here, uh, just picked up an ice cream. I wasn't sure if that was a drop or not, or eh, whatever. I'll, I'll find out, I guess, eventually. Oh, thank God for your, uh, Alucard Spear. That weapon is just so good. So good. Anyways, um, let's see here. Running through here. Running in the 90s. Ow! Nuts. Nuts! Oh! Okay, never mind. Not nuts. Shucks! Shucks! Okay, well, whatever. Uh, more rippers? Yep, more rippers. Okay, shit the ripper. No, 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 no. That's, that's where the interior crocodile alligator guy came from. Anyway, new piece of equipment right there. Engagement ring. Can I equip that? Yes, I can. That consumes H... No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, that, that is not a good item at all. Um, I would much rather lose MP than HP when taking damage. I'm just gonna say that right now. Or at least when I'm taking, like partner assist damage, because really that's just not good to have if you're taking damage alongside your partner, because that just makes you lose the match all the more. Granted, losing MP sucks, but at least you can, it automatically restores over time. Your health, on the other hand, does not, so therefore, do not equip it. <laughs> okay, Tangeli out of the way! Oh, God, man! The amount of times I have to use an item in this episode, I swear it's going to be too excessive. Anyways, going around through here, um... So is there any items right here? No, there's not. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Let's 
see if there's anything through here. Oh, man, those freaking... Okay, duh, jump underneath. Uh, pick up... Okay, I'm going to need to be... Uh, going to have to have Charlotte, I think, go for uh, Almorph here, probably. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to have to go for. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Um, return to Mr. Alman. Pick up a Super Tonic right there. Okay, that's pretty nice. Restore her MP to full, as I've stated probably about a thousand times already within this LP. And, okay, just going to back up real quick. Uh, actually, you know what? I feel like I just came up with an idea here. What will Chain Lightning do if I... Hold on, I got an idea. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I don't just do that. Wow, okay, I need health. Um, spicy shrimp. How much was health? Okay, that was sure decent. That restores actually a nice chunk of that HP right there. Um, okay, we got more Yorix. Uh, pretty easy to take down with just uh, chain lightnings in general. And so, let's see here. Chain lightning, Yorick, or skeleton tree. Wow, why, why aren't I using chain lightning? It's much more effective. Man, oh my god, this, these things, these freaking things, man. Uh, did I miss, I missed a spot, actually, didn't I? Um, yeah, I missed a spot, hold on. Okay, hold on here, just a moment, I missed something. Uh, wow, okay, I need to heal. Sorry for being so quiet right now. Uh, I'm just trying to focus on killing these damn rippers. <sighs> Pork pie hat. Is that? You already have that. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see here. There's okay. So there's a certain item in this room that I forgot to check, which is right here, and we get a truffle. Okay. Um, something else. I'm gonna need that for later. Anyways, though. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Um, actually, one. I actually missed a spot, and want to go down here first, but as you can tell, boss drill right there, not going to do it yet, just yet, because if you remember anything about the Nation of Fools, you'll realize that this map goes into a tire cir an entire circle, and being the fact that I have to complete every area of the game in order to get a thousand separate completion, uh, completion I'm going to just pretty much do the entire loop next, and then warp back into here, because there's actually a warp point right nearby, spoiler alert, um, and yeah, so, that's why I'm not doing this area, but well, that's why I'm jumping in here first and not taking on the boss just yet. Yeah. Now, no, 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 I'd probably still go for a thousand percent. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Whatever. Warp points. Actually, this is probably about a thousand times easier than just doing this, because what I can do then is just warp back up here and then just loop around the entire way. So, yeah, that actually makes life a lot easier than, that just actually makes navigating this area a lot easier with regards to LPing. Not, not gonna lie. Anyway, kill this dead warrior. Um, nuts. Okay, whatever. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna proceed on my merry way, I suppose. Um, so this time around, I'm gonna be going uh, instead of going out. Whoa, okay, that was close. Uh, there we go. Instead of going left this time, I'm just gonna go right. So yada yada yada. You get the deal right now. I just wanted to save and heal up. Yeah. I really, I'm just going to stop doing cuts between saving and healing up, because I'm noticing that, like, it's really just more a heifer for me to edit, and it's really unnecessary to cut off, like, that last, like, five milliseconds of a clip. Eh. Anyways, going through here, uh, let's see here, more of these annoying freaking enemies. Chain Lightning, wow, Chain Lightning is good. Okay, I forgot how good Chain Lightning is. Jeez. Man, Chain Lightning is awesome. Okay, uh, I think there's an item I want to grab up there. Jeez, yeah, wow. Oh boy, I'm equipping this and Charlie from now on. Tin spinach. Um, I think that's actually a really good piece of healing, so I might save that for end game if, unless I come across a very typical predicament, in which case I will probably have to use it somewhere. In some scenario, yeah, yada yada yada. You you've heard the spiel before at this point. Oh boy, okay. All right, so jumping through. Oh, there, there we go. Anyway, item we got spoiled milk. Why? Why would you do that to me, Konami? That's just that's just rude. That's just plain rude. Yeah, whatever. Okay, Charlotte, Chain Lightning. Obviously, obvious reasons are obvious. Chain Lightning is awesome. Um, Jack of Bones. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, is there anything in here? Yes, there is another axe. Okay. Let's see what do we got here. We got the Great Axe. How much? 
I'm not sure I'm that. X, great X, 82, the bowl over is about 10 times better. Oh, yeah, by the way, off-screen, uh, I was actually, uh, managed, I, uh, I managed to, a I was able to uh, pick up yet another bowl over. I might sell that other one off-screen, just because they go for a lot of moolah. Yeah, Vincent, yeah. Vin Vincent's stuff is so expensive, oh my gosh. Um, it's here. Ah, nuts. Ah. Come on, come on. Come on, you slut. There we go. Okay, Jonathan. Switch over. I jump down here. And I missed a spot. Yeah, whatever. I'll, co I'll come back and do that later, I suppose. Anyways, let's see here. Go through here. Go down here. And then move along. We're just going to go into this room, which is yet another save point. So I'll just use that. And then heal up. And then go on my merry way once more. And then just jump down to uh, this spot. Uh, kill this Gorgon. Shuriken, because easy, death is easy, yeah. And, uh, let's see, Chain Lightning, okay. Well, if I'm lucky, I might actually be able to finish this entire episode today, if not tomorrow. Or actually, like, seeing how I'm doing a double dose, I actually might be able to finish this area. I mean, like, if I, if I manage to finish this episode, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say here. Because if I do, that would be really, really snazzy. Um, let's see, right through here, HP max up, awesome. Die, you stupid fuckers. And HP max up, I will take that and roll with it, I suppose, because, well, let's face it, HP max ups are always convenient in my book. Anyways, let's see here. Shade Lightning. Okay, it takes down that. Wow, okay. So, note to self. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah, note to self. Uh, Chain Lightning, very good in taking down those buster armors. Chain Lightning, very good spell in general. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, let's see here. MP max up. Pretty snazzy. Yeah, literally, it's just literally going in the opposite direction now this time. Um, ow! Dang it. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, dead warrior. Oh, you, you, you prokaryous son of a gun. Actually, I feel like this guy, these guys actually gave off a really good piece of equipment. I think they gave off a piece of equipment called uh, the Samurai Armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, they do, they do. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, if you manage to pick it up, I highly recommend equipping it. Very good piece of equipment right there. FYI, um, I think it just, it's really good for defenses, I think that's really what it's mainly good for. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like, it kind of, I guess, treats it like the Genji armor from, uh, the Final Fantasy series, I guess. If, oh my god, that was... And that's what I get for freaking trying to accidentally using, uh... Wow, wow, okay, 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 buddy, okay. This is, this is ridiculous. You, sir, need, are a nuisance. That was frustrating. Um, but yeah, Samurai Gear is pretty much just the equivalent of Genji Gear in the Final Fantasy universe. Um, very good pieces of equipment, probably the best in the game. Um, next to certain other pieces of equipment, um, that I personally like. I need to stop using a thousand blades like that. If you're wondering why I keep, like, accidentally using a thousand blades, like, just completely on impulse, it's because I am trying to switch characters mid-screen, and I'm also, like, holding the up holding up on a Jonathan, so whenever I'm like trying to switch between the two, I, and I go for the up button, I always go for chain lighting, and then I think what I'm trying to do is switch over, that way I can just immediately cast a spell with Charlotte, but because I'm an imbecile like that, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but because like I accidentally hit it, X at the same time where I'm hitting up, X, X takes me into uh, the animation for a thousand blood. Anyway though, new pieces of uh, gear for Charlotte there. Tome of Arms 3, pretty much just an upgrade to Tome of Arms 2. A very nice, good, good, good strength booster for Charlotte. Now I won't have to solely for worry about using her spells, which, even though that's probably the main reason why I use her. <laughs> Ow! God, man! I'm being such an imbecile. Anyways, though, uh, going through here, just gonna drop down here, and, uh, yeah. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go for a little length on today's episode. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I just wanna get through as much of this area as possible. Again, if I haven't said that enough already. Chain Lightning, you are so good. Um, Chain Lightning is so good. My God, it is it is powerful. It is so powerful. Ah, oh, boy. Anyways, going through here, and wouldn't you know, we're back at where we were uh, in the beginning with all these flea men. So that should take care of all three of those right there, and then they'll bring us back to where we were earlier with the boss door. So, I think next time on Let's Play Castlevania Portion of Ruin, we'll see what lies behind door number three.
And by door number three, I mean the boss three of the studio portraits. Yes. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, and you want to see more of my content, you can always rate, comment, subscribe. And yeah, this is essentially Infinite Trials. So you're saying peace out, chill, and have a good one.